Becky. I'm a marine biologist and secondary school biology teacher. Um, I currently work as a freelance marine conservation education specialist, so I work for myself. So there's just me in my company. Um, I work on different projects um, all over the country, depending on what's happening. So usually they are marine conservation or education based, but I can help with all sorts of different other projects. So most recently I was helping a wildlife trust with their application for a national lottery heritage fund application. So I was working on um, doing their audience development plan and interpretation plan. So if I had a work experience student with me, that's the sort of thing you'd be working on. So that would involve talking to members of the public about why they might visit a place, what they gain from it. Does it give them anything that makes them feel special to develop something called a sense of place? so that we can understand more about why people value the nature around them. Also, there's an the interpretation plan, um, which was basically involved in trying to work out different ways of getting particular messages out to members of the public in a friendly and engaging way so that they would possibly change their behaviour so that they could look after the nature around them. Other projects I do involve going out onto the seashore and surveying different marine species in the intertidal zone, so that's between low water and high water and that's where I specialise in for surveys um, and I also do different work for other charities including the Seahorse Trust. My current project is involved in changing their day-to-day um, -day course that we run um, into an online course because at the moment we can't meet people, we can't have people in a classroom as you'll understand yourselves, um, learning about the nature around them, about marine conservation and about seahorses in the UK. So we're currently changing that into an online course. So my job's very varied, but it's also very strange because it's just me. I have to find the jobs myself um, and sometimes it can be a little bit lonely, but I know lots of other marine conservation consultants and we all work together on different things and have a good chat um, at a cuppa and online and that sort of thing so that we do have other people to talk to about what we're doing. I also go out into schools and do do supply work depending on what's going on. Again, that's not happening at the moment, um, as you know with schools all being closed. Um, how did I get into my industry? Well, um, I basically decided, to, living in Manchester, that I wanted to be a marine biologist, which may seem a bit strange considering there's no sea there, um, but that's what I wanted to do, so I decided to get the right qualifications and I went off to university and did my bachelor's degree followed by a master's um, and got into the marine conservation world that way. Whatever it is that you want to do with your lives, just go for it. Nobody can tell you what not to do and what to do. When people found out I wanted to be a marine biologist, they thought I was absolutely crazy. I'm <laughs> coming from a landlocked area, they just didn't understand. Um, so whatever you can do, you can do it. Find something you truly love and that you enjoy doing rather than getting stuck in a job that you might not like. It is possible to do anything if you don't do so well at the moment, that's not a problem. You can do it later on, but do find something that you love and enjoy your job um, and you'll love it forever. Enjoy!